When your horse arrives at BW Furlong & Associates for gastroscopy, our staff will begin by reviewing your horse's symptoms and history. We'll also review your feeding program and any medications your horse is currently receiving. Prior to the procedure, the horse must be held off of feed for 12 to 18 hours so the stomach is nearly empty. These measures are necessary to allow complete visualization of all portions of the stomach wall. Your veterinarian will begin by doing a thorough physical exam of the horse to evaluate general health and confirm its soundness for the sedation and gastroscopy. The horse will then be given a light sedative, such that the horse is sedated but remains standing, which lasts throughout the procedure. Performing a gastroscopy is a three-person job. One of our staff will be in charge of handling the horse while another passes the gastroscope. The veterinarian uses the scope's hand control in conjunction with a video monitor to orient the scope and guide it through the digestive tract. Our state-of-the-art 3-meter video endoscope has a small high-resolution camera and powerful light on the tip which provide an incredibly clear image that is easily viewed on a monitor. A lubricant is applied to the tip of the scope, which is then inserted into the nasal passage through one of the horse's nostrils. If the horse is going to become irritated, it's usually during this initial insertion, and it doesn't last long. After going through the nasal passage, the scope arrives in the horse's pharynx, which is the throat region. Rather than passing through the larynx and down the trachea, the veterinarian guides the scope down the horse's esophagus. The scope is then gently passed down the horse's esophagus to the stomach, which is the primary area of interest in a gastroscopic exam. If there is any feed on the wall of the stomach obscuring the veterinarian's view, it can simply be washed away by passing water through the scope. The veterinarian can also pump air through the gastroscope to expand the stomach for a better view. At any time during the procedure, a high-resolution image can be captured and recorded. One of the most common areas of the stomach where ulcers are found is the lesser curvature. Although this particular horse shows no signs of ulcers in this region, this still image from another horse shows significant ulcers at the lesser curvature. Another likely area for ulcers is the pylorus, which is the outflow portion of the stomach at the entrance to the small intestine. This horse has an ulcer-free pylorus. On this image from another horse, ulcers at the pylorus are obvious. With our 3-meter gastroscope, it's possible to examine a horse's digestive tract all the way down to the beginning of the small intestine. Once the examination is complete, the scope is slowly withdrawn. Your veterinarian will then review their findings and put together a treatment plan which may include medications, changes in management, and changes in diet. The only way to confirm the presence of ulcers is by directly examining the stomach using a gastroscope. If you believe gastric ulcers may be the cause of your horse's poor or inconsistent performance, consider scheduling a gastroscopic examination on an outpatient basis here at BW Furlong & Associates.